we're here today at the Glebe to have a look at how to approach the last couple of hours of your match where you're looking to put a big weight in the net in little time. So basically this is broken down into two sort of areas of your peg, your five metre line and, and down the edge as well. So we just have a look through the rigs. Um, for five metre line, I like to set up two different rigs. Uh, the first, obviously, is a 10 to 14 MAP TKS twin core. Uh, slightly lighter than the other one, so if I want to pick this rig up through the match, I can go onto it, I can land any skimmers that I might catch or anything like that, and play my carp carefully. But when I go onto the heavier rig later in the match, when the fish really turn up, then that's when you're looking to land the fish a bit quicker and uh, obviously boost your weight a lot quicker than you can on this. Uh, the line itself is an 018 MAP Power Optex going down the float itself. I like to use quite positive floats when fishing on five metre line. Basically you get a lot of fish in your peg, lighter rigs might encourage a few phallic fish so just Nice positive rigs, there's 4 by 16 DF2 float coming down the rig. For the lighter rig, I like to have a strung out shot in pattern. So I've got, there's six number eights. Um, the shots that I use are in proportion to the size of the float that I use. So if I was using a 4 by 12 float, I'd have number 10 shot, 4 by 14 float, number nines, 4 by 16, number eight. So these are there's six or seven number eights on there, all spaced out. I've got a six inch hook length of 016 MAP power optics again, and a size 14 B911, which is a six inch hook length. Uh, that's, they're spaced out at sort of inch intervals going up the rig. And that's pretty much the sim simple sort of rigs that you need for fishing like this. I've got a a large flexi pot on the end, which when you're feeding your swim, I do feel that when you're loose feeding over the top, by following that up with a tightly grouped bit of bait that you can get a quicker bite on it. So that's always worth, always worth bearing in mind. Obviously, if you get a lot of fish in your peg, you might get a few foul lookers like that. So then it'd be worth throwing it and spreading the area that you're fishing over. The heavier rig, same float, uh, 018 main line again, but this time we've got an 018 hook length on it. Same size hook, the shotting pattern's a little bit different, which is a bulk of number eights and two number eight droppers. So it's just that little bit more positive, so it goes straight down to the bottom, and I'm in ready and resting for a bite straight away. Just pretty much no nonsense gear. Moving on to the, uh, the margin rig. When you're looking for somewhere to fish down the edge, sort of the one thing that you, you want to avoid is fishing in too deep a water. If, you, if you've got somewhere where you can touch the bank, that's always a lot better. So here today I've got probably about 20 inches out of thought, which is quite a nice depth for quite big fish here. And uh, they'll, they'll be able to settle in that sort of depth. Again, it's got black twin core, which is, it will enable me to sh strike into a bite, the fish will swim out the peg, which cuts down on the, dis the disturbance in my peg, and sort of like, it'd be easier to go in and catch me next one a little bit quicker than if I had a fish splashing around. The line on this one is 020 MAP Power Optex. The float is a 4x12 MF3. And as you can see, it's quite a uh, it's quite a robust type float with a thick bristle on it. Basically, if I use the thinner bristle float, dropping in, you get lots and lots of liners with fish moving around in shallow water. So basically, if I by using a thicker one, I'm able to avoid any sort of pull unders that I might get, um, and I'll just see more proper bites. Hook length on this one, 018, with a very strong size 16, B911 extra strong. And on that, I'll be fishing bunches of maggots, corn, 
worms, anything like that over a, over a better ground bait. So very positive rigs. It's all about catching quickly in the last two hours of a match to really make an impact, either catching up or just putting the match to bed. So that's, that's pretty much it. And um, we'll get onto some bait in a minute. 